Have you ever tried shawarma? There's a shawarma joint about two blocks from here. I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. We're not finished yet. And then shawarma after. That's right, we're building shawarma. This has been over a year in the making. Shawarma, that wonderful end credit scene from the Avengers. We are building the building. It's a modular build. It's designed by yours truly. And because it's a design that I'm building, we're building it on a mills plate. So let's get to building. So what we got going on here is your standard mills plate with Technic blocks in there so that it can interlock with your LEGO City. I do not have a LEGO City, but I am building for the future, ladies and gentlemen. And this is just a great way to do it. Um, this is a design I've seen Brixie do, I've seen Bevan's Bricks do it. It's uh, economical. You're not going to be breaking the bank on this particular Mills plate design. So we start with the four corners, we add the Technic 1x4s, and then we fill in the rest with 2x3s and 2x2s. And one quick note on these 4x4 plates. I don't really care about the color because it's all getting covered by tiles and building and awesomeness. So. If you were a real stickler, you'd want to get them all the same color. As you can see, I put a lot of light blue, I mean light gray tiles on the ends just for some uniformity, but it's not necessary in this particular build because it's all getting covered up by shawarma. And now with our mills plate assembled, we are ready to begin building this awesome mock by yours truly, Brick Brack. Go check it out on Rebrickable. Throughout the build, you're going to see this broken truck. Brickbrack Jr. felt it was necessary for this build, and it makes a lot of sense. During the Battle of New York, uh, Iron Man lands right in front of Shawarma Palace, and there is a lot of broken, damaged New York all over the place. Um, I believe there's a broken car. But Brickbrack Jr. felt a broken truck would work just as well, so it's going to be here from time to time throughout this entire multi-part build. And then Shwarma after. Search for it by name. So there's a couple things going on here. Because this build is a mock and it had a lot of parts, what I did was I put everything into little baggies based on what they were. So like one by one round plates, tiles, you know, single one by six, one by eight tiles all went in a bag, two by two tiles all went in a bag, just to sort of keep this flowing. I didn't want to do this build in hard mode with everything just in a giant bin. So that's what's going on there. The other thing is the build starts with the sidewalk and all of the exterior tiles. So this is going to cover up um, a lot of the perimeter, kind of like starting a jigsaw puzzle. Um, do all the outside tiles first. Um, there's a lot of intricate pieces because it's a damaged sidewalk. Um, from there, we begin the interior, um, starting with the floor and working our way up. We did it, we finished the sidewalk. And everything there is the footprint that's gonna be made up by the building, Shwarma Palace.
So I took some liberties here. I don't know what the tiled floor of the kitchen area of Shawarma Palace looks like, but I decided it was gonna be green and white. There are a number of dark tan masonry bricks in this build. I know, I'm sorry for how many there are. Pro tip, pick a brick from Lego is amazing for any kind of bulk item stuff like this. I highly recommend them. It is at this point that we're beginning to build the countertops. Um, I tried to make it so that it wasn't boring. So we did a lot of tile work at the beginning, then we started building the walls, but instead of just continuing to build the walls, we break it up with some other things. So we're doing some countertops now, then we're gonna move on to maybe some more walls, then some of the appliances, so I kind of, Tried to make it so that it wasn't monotonous. So yeah, counters, good times. Essential in a kitchen-like environment. Even an Avengers-style kitchen-like environment. And let me know in the comment section if ketchup is a condiment for shawarma. Because I don't really know, but I wanted to make some ketchup bottles. So there they are. And we're gonna place them on the counter. It's good that after the Battle of New York, the condiments were still a plentiful. And mustard. Mustard with clear tops because the tops that are yellow were very hard to come by. And these right here are probably my most favorite part of this entire build, the napkin dispensers. I kind of came up with this on my own. I don't know, I'm sure other people have made this already, but I really like them. They look pretty darn cool. And we're gonna wrap things up now, but I'm just gonna show you the details. We got our, our counter, we got our bottles, we got some plates. Originally I was gonna go with like actual Lego looking plates, but I decided to go with dishes, two by two dishes instead. I think it looks better. Um, got some condiments and some napkins. This is just the beginning of a multi-part, maybe three parts, maybe four parts of shawarma. I hope you stick around to see the rest of the series. Part two comes out next Saturday. And yeah, this is a first for me. I'm showcasing my own mock, my own creation. When I started this channel, I really didn't think I'd get into designing. I, I like to build Lego. I, I started with the, you know, the Avengers Tower by Dream Build Bricks. I wanted to show it off to the world. And uh, yeah, here we are. Here we are. The original design was not modular. It was very substandard, but I uh, went back to the drawing board, put it on a 32 by 32 Mills plate or base plate, and uh, this is the end result. It fits on a it fits on a, a 32 by 32. It has a sidewalk. There's some other hidden hidden uh, Easter eggs uh, that I uh, will be revealed in later episodes. So you're gonna wanna continue watching. I will have the rest of this build out in the next couple weeks. And if you want to get ahead of the game, go over to Rebrickable now, search for Shawarma, search for Brick Brack. The title of this is And Then Shawarma After, an Avengers Modular Building. And yeah, give it, give it a go. I, I really enjoyed this build. I, I really did. I'm not just saying that because I built it. This um, has so far been a lot of fun.
It's also been so great to showcase mocks by other designers, but when you're showcasing something you yourself have designed, it brings it to a whole other level, simply because you saw it from its infancy to now. Thank you again so much. I hope to see you next week. Let's get to building.